Hey lifers, it is wash day in the Pagano household, so I figured as I go through my process, um, I will go ahead and answer some questions or give you a little bit of information about my dreads. Hey, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. I get questions about them all the time or comments about them all the time, so I figured why not, while well, I'm gonna be in this bathroom um, figuring out this hair situation, Go ahead and show y'all what I do and answer some questions. Whenever I first got my dreadlocks started, one of my cheerleaders, who's actually currently Miss Grapevine, um, she started them for me. I used to wear weave in my hair all the time and I wore my hair natural as well. So like a little bit of both. I really like the versatility um, that my hair can have. But whenever I found out I was pregnant with Meatball, so in 2016, I was like, let me take advantage of these pregnancy hormones and try this dreadlock look. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, I can cut my hair off, I can throw a wig on, or I can put some weave in my hair or whatever, and everything would go back to normal. <laughs> I didn't want to be stuck in that in-between stage for a really long time um, where people are like, what's going on with her hair? You can't wash them or really mess with them or anything for the first couple of months so that they have the opportunity to lock up. Um, but pretty much after that, I started going to a loctician for a little while, maybe about three or four months so that they could take care of my hair. And they would do an apple cider vinegar wash and a baking soda like um, rinse to get all the gunk and stuff out that builds up while your hair is trying to lock up on itself um, and then like retwist it there. After those first couple of months of going there I've pretty much taken care of my dreads myself. So I just got some, done doing my own apple cider vinegar and baking soda wash. I learned kind of over the past three years the easiest way to do it at home for myself is to fill up a spray bottle with apple cider vinegar, spray my um, dreads with it and everything like that, pack on some baking soda and then go ahead and put my head in the sink and let the ends of my dreads and everything soak while the inside of my hair is also soaking from the spray bottle and the baking soda. Um, and then I wash my hair and I um, put conditioner in it and everything like normal. I don't use anything special. I use Garnier Fruit Teas. May or may not be the best thing for my hair. I don't really know. Um, I just kind of go with what I know works. And it works for my hair and for my biracial baby's hair. So we just kind of stick with that in our house. And it smells really good too. And then I just twist my hair myself. When I was going to the loctician, they recommended me use um, Joy Naturals My Gel. They do sell it on Amazon. And this is what I use to lock my hair. It's not really um, heavy or anything like that. The first ingredient on the ingredients list is water. So um, it doesn't have like a whole bunch of, of extra stuff added, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a scientist or anything like that. So, um, but it feels good on my hair. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't get gunky or anything like that. You'll notice that I am not parting my hair with a comb or anything like that. I decided whenever I did my dreads that I wanted them to look natural. So I just go with whatever has already been formed there. I put a little bit of that gel on my fingertips, run it down here from the top, and then I literally just turn my hand like that and then make sure all those extra pieces um, get picked up and clip it. Sometimes if I want my dreads to be wavy, um, for like my next little style, then whenever I get done twisting it like this, I'll twist them together and just clip it at the bottom or I'll braid them and clip it at the bottom and then that gives me like the wavy look or whatever. It's really weird because with all of the different hair textures that we have in the house, I've just I've been kind of figuring out this hair journey on my own for all of us. And the thing about dreads is that, um, that I learned is that you can't retwist them too often. Like you have to leave time for them to get nappy or they'll get really thin. So like, let me see if I can find my baby dread. <laughs> this one right here is connected right here to like my edges. But look how thin it is. I tried to tie a knot right here so that it wouldn't fall out. And this was because I was retwisting my hair too often. Um, this is already a thin spot of hair right here on the edges and then if you retwist it too often then your dreads get really thin So I learned my lesson and um, I let my hair get a little bit nappier um, For a little while and then I'll twist it and I just wear like a something over the edge of my head or keep my hair up 
Um, sometimes I just retwist my edges. If I know that I have like an event or something coming up, then I'll just retwist my edges so that my front looks okay. So that's all I got. Hey, look at this one. This is my favorite dread. This is my lucky dread. It was two dreads whenever I started and then somehow I ended up twisting them together. So it's my little wishbone dread. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope everyone has a good day. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you need to share it, feel free to hit me with your questions. I'll let you know in all honesty how the dreadlock journey goes. Thanks.